Hey guys, welcome to the Knot of the Week. Today we're going to be talking about whipping a rope with dental floss. Okay guys, so when whipping a rope, the reason for doing that in the first place is that natural fiber rope in particular can, be, can become unraveled. So you can see uh, over time it'll start doing that and the way to keep it together and ensure that it doesn't do that is to, is to whip it or bind it. Uh, you can do that with a couple of different knots. My method, it preferably, is dental floss because it's waxed and obviously you have to get the waxed dental floss. but you can see that what it does is make a really nice whipping on the end of the rope. It becomes very solid, especially if you're tightening as you go. And I'll get into how to whip that in a second. But the wax actually helps it all uh, bind together and produce an even more resilient whipping at the end. So a quick aside and a story is that I was at Home Depot with my friend Jack Spirko years and years ago uh, when we were both you know, kind of new in our businesses. and. Uh, I was getting some natural fiber rope for a pass knot of the week and the the guy at Home Depot was trying to use the the rope I guess burner or wh whatever you would use to fuse rope so you know you'd cut it with uh, heat um, so it would fuse the rope at the same time more like for uh, nylon rope and um, synthetic rope like this that I'll go over here but he was trying to use that to saw back and forth on the natural fiber rope and it was just smoking rather than actually fusing. So when it comes to cutting natural fiber rope, you actually have to cut that, you can't fuse it. So because of that fact with, with nylon, you would just fuse it if you had unraveling with uh, that and paracord, you'd just fuse it. Um, but with natural fiber rope, you need to actually whip it. So um, this is what it looks like on natural fiber rope with the dental floss again, but what I'm gonna do for the sake of demonstration is show you on this nylon rope and with this piece of paracord. I think it'll be a, an easier demonstration uh, for you guys to kind of understand what's going on with. So what you wanna do is put a bite in the, the rope. So the orange paracord here is mimicking the dental floss that would be on the natural fiber rope. So what you're going to do is decide how long of a whipping you would like and that's when you start wrapping. You're gonna need plenty of slack on the other end. That's another reason why I like dental floss um, and just to show you real quick, what I like to do with dental floss, this may be a little hard to see, but whenever I'm actually whipping with it, I'll leave it in the spool. So I would bring it like this, then I wrap this around, and depending on how much I need, I just spool more out of the dental floss rather than cutting it off and thinking I have enough. So that's uh, another great thing to do with a little dental floss dispenser like this. So again, what we're gonna do is put a bite in the rope or in the paracord. And then what you'll do is start wrapping around and you're capturing this piece right here. So there's your bite. You're capturing that bite and continuing to whip down around that bite or that loop. So just to show you again what this looks like, I'm just gonna tighten that a little bit so you can see. So this is loose and this is gonna play a part in this. So you want this um, to not be too short because you're actually going to have to grab this and pull it in a second. So as I continue to wrap down towards that loop or bite, you'll see what's going to happen here. And I'm obviously over exaggerating this. You probably wouldn't want this much at the end of a whipping. So once you're done, you take that loop. You still want that loop to be, to be visible because you're going to put that excess slack through that loop, just like so. So it comes back through. And now with this strand, you're going to capture that rope. So it, it basically locks that in. And the idea, especially, it's gonna be much easier when you're using dental floss, but the idea is to pull this enough so that that point at which it passes through that eye or that loop um, comes to about the middle of the whipping. And that's a way to really secure it. So I'm gonna to try to do that with this. We'll see how far I actually get into this because this is paracord again. And yeah, I'm not gonna be able to pull that too far because it's gonna start spoiling everything else. And that's why you really don't wanna whip with these materials. You would wanna use dental floss like that. So I can't pull this all the way through, but again, that's where you would take it to is about the middle of that before you trim off this side and trim off this side. And again, with the wax, Dental floss, it really won't matter. Um, it won't come unraveled if you 
trim it at the correct spot because you can just basically tuck that waxed dental floss back in both sides and it should turn out just fine. So again, that is how to whip a rope. Stay tuned for a new Knot of the Week every Tuesday, and if you're enjoying what we're doing here on our Knot of the Week series, please consider joining the Crew Leader membership linked below in the description. Thanks for watching.